Hi, my name is Linus Sebastian. Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today we'll be learning how to upgrade your system memory in six easy steps that take less than 10 minutes. Since the release of Microsoft Windows Vista, users are finding themselves in need of more and more system memory. Rather than pay $50 or more to have system memory installed at a local shop, we're going to show you how easy it is to buy system memory and install it in your own PC in the comfort of your own home. The first step of your memory installation, once you have your computer in a comfortable workplace, is to touch a large metal part of the case to ensure that you have discharged any static electricity buildup that might be on your body before you touch any of the internals. The next step is to remove the side panel from your case. Most cases, you'll need to remove the right side panel in order to access the motherboard. So that means that you'll need to remove either two or three screws from the back side panel. Then slide it off like this. To many users, the inside of a computer can be confusing looking or downright mysterious. So the next step, step number three, is how to find the memory slots inside your computer. You'll be able to identify them by the long plastic base that has two plastic tabs at either end. The next step, step number four, is removing your old memory from the system. We never recommend that you use two of different kinds of memory in your system at the same time. So 90% of the time, you're going to want to remove your old memory. First thing you need to do is locate the plastic tabs at the ends of the memory slots. Pull on each one, and then being sure to handle the memory by the edges, remove the memory from your system, and place it in an anti-static bag for storage. Now that we've finished removing the old memory, we're ready for step five, which is installing your new memory. Being sure to discharge yourself on the metal of the case before taking them out, you can go ahead and remove your new memory from the packaging. The memory we have here is OCZ DDR2 memory. You'll see that in the bottom of DDR2 and actually DDR1 memory as well, there's one slot that is not quite in the middle. This is going to line up with a tab inside the memory slot itself. The memory can only be inserted one way, don't try to force it. Apply even pressure in the middle of the module and push down until it clicks into place. So you can see my DDR2 memory slot here has the notch above the center line of the slot itself. That means that when I'm putting my system memory in, I'm going to want to ensure that the short side is on the top. The same rule applies for DDR memory as DDR2. Once I've determined which way it goes in, all I need to do is hold the memory in the center push down firmly, and there it is. You can see here that the tabs push themselves in. It should not be necessary to push them in yourself. When you put the memory in, the tabs pop into place. Now that you've finished installing the modules in the motherboard, you're ready to get your side panel back, slide it back into place, do up the screws at the back, in order to keep out any dust or other contaminants. And now you're ready to start enjoying your improved performance. This has been the third edition of NCIX Tech Tips. I hope you enjoyed it.